Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia and this is Mivorkis. Today I'm gonna show you how I start a project, what do I do for competitor research, what do I do for finding ideas and how do I manage my Figma file because that's super important. Why did I do this is that because I've just started working on a new project like I have all the starting assets ready so I thought it would be great if I could record it for you guys so you could tag along with me and see how I start my projects. This video is gonna help you because when you have all of these different sections of information structured and you send it over send over the link to your client they're gonna think that you're really professional and you really know what to do and you really know what you're doing it's gonna help your rates go higher from what it is because it shows that you care about the project and you again know what you're doing so let's not waste more time on this and go on that screen and just see what we're gonna do and I'm gonna just teach you step by step how to collect data, how to manage them in Figma and how to present it to your client, okay? So I'm just gonna give you a step by step of what I do and then dig into Figma and do all the stuff about that. So when I start working on a project, the first thing that I do is that I give this Google form to my clients and like I take information from them. So I'm just gonna give you some information. Let me put this in the middle. What I do first, I'm gonna give you a little information of how do I collect uh, data from my clients and then how I use that data and how I do my own research. In this case of prop firms, I'm really familiar with them. I know how they work because a lot of my friends are traders. So I know uh, the demographic, the behaviors, and I actually seen a lot of my friends using the platform. So I got a background and I don't need to go ahead and search about traders, uh, their pain points in the prop firms, platforms, and all of the data that is similar to that because I'm uh, in connection like face to face with the people who actually use these platforms and I can always get, go to them and ask a lot of questions based on what I need which is what I did uh, I went ahead and asked them like what are the problems they have using the dashboards and all of this stuff like that but we're gonna talk about that later so first thing is that when I want to start a project I give my uh, clients a uh, contact information the name is messed up but basically a form that they have to fill so i could understand their product better their budget better and all of the data uh, regarding that so i will take the obvious things like name email then i ask them to list their platform features i'm gonna ask if they need responsive i'm gonna ask if they have any competitors uh, what kind of dark light or both do they want what is their timeline and their budget and then I'm gonna give them a link so they could actually use that link and let me know what type of design do they like so I could understand their taste in design. And then I ask them to give me their competitors, similar platforms and stuff like that. And I just give them a place to attach their files because a lot of clients already have wireframes, some data that they put together. And if they attach that here, it's gonna be super helpful. And let's say I got all of that data. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come to Figma. I'm gonna create this page containing the cover, which would be here, explorations, uh, which would contain concepts, sandbox, inspirations, and audits. I actually do have other ways to showcase uh what i do so let me just show you that as well so again i have the cover uh, when the product is bigger and you get into the product faster so i have a cover i have a page for quick uh, accesses which uh, people can just click and get to that page that they want i have the change log which has all of the versions the data about that version and then for example if you have two sites i have sign up for the different countries and all of the again different pages of that platform we have viewer design I have the flow here. I have archive helper components and this is just a table, uh, a plugin that I used here. So this is it. This is gonna, so this 
section is when you want to start a new project this is what you do this is the pages that you're gonna have and then when you move forward you're gonna maybe just keep this and create a new page new figma file with all of the data like this so let's go back here and start so basically the first thing i do is I'm gonna understand the product, right? I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna search the competitors. So basically we know FDMO, Top Step, The Funded Trader, My Forex Funds. What was this one? Funded Next. Okay, this, this, and Maven. This is from someone I know. So these are some of the good platforms that are out there and I'm gonna just uh, scrap them, see what they have, see what they offer, see what does the market do and just understand how they work. After I did that, so basically uh, FDMO has free trial, which you can just use as a demo account and test your strategies maybe. And this is what they show their clients, the objective, the statistics, daily summary, trading journal, the trades they take in. So I understand how the dashboard works. I take a step back, I come here and I paste all of the different platforms that I like here. So I actually paste both the landing page and uh, the one from the plugins you can use to just transfer builder io or html to design these are the plugins you can use to bring out the design here so it's actually something you could use so i bring out everything that i like and i bring out the dashboards that i like and data they have and this is going to be for the audit you're going to gather all this around for your client and then the next step would be inspiration so i actually went on a call with my uh, client here and we explored dribble we explored a barge to find some of the design styles that he liked i went on a call with him we explored some designs i understood what he liked we talked about some different color palettes and stuff like that so i actually gathered all this here for him and uh, so in case he wanted to see in case he wanted to add anything in case he wanted a reference and he actually wanted to like comment on any of them that he wanted the exact for example design and then the next step was the wireframe and user flow so i didn't create a user flow for um the landing page i actually created a small wireframe with all of the sections they're gonna need and i sent it over to them so they could give me the content which i actually after we talked about we decided to i go to chat GPT and just take the content from there. This is really useful for creating a landing page because you can just send over the wireframes which you will be creating with uh, one of the files in Figma community. That's what I did. And then you're gonna just send it over for getting the, what do you say? The data, the content. And then for the dashboard, I didn't do a wireframe because that's not needed because you don't need a lot of contents and you can easily go get away with creating a user flow, sending it over, confirm the features, confirm the data and start from there. And I think it's uh, a lot easier and more useful when you're working on short-term projects like this because uh, the process needs to be fast and you need to deliver as fast as you can because obviously they want to launch really fast here's what i did i went ahead and uh, i talked to the developers and he gave me some examples of what they wanted to do and i uh, checked out all of the competitors mainly fdmo and uh, maven that i bought an account to understand the whole thing and i created the flow of the dashboard so for example this is the version one and the flow is pretty simple because there's not a lot of features that client will uh, actually uh, launch in the first version so i created the user flow and like i don't know the pages the buttons and actions uh, and then all of the different sections and i actually gave them idea of what everything is this is the section these are the options these are the buttons these are the pages so when my clients would just look at this user flow they would understand what's happening and then for the concepts i gave them a bunch of different colors an exploration of the colors that they could do they wanted to use glass morphism they wanted to have a lot of gradients so this is what i did for them i sent over some different colors that they could use i gave them my suggestion and then i went ahead and created a design this is again something i got from a backcode that i'm working in 
my Olivia, the person I work with, she always mentions that it's good to have prototypes ready when you send over the product because it is really useful for the client to see it live, not just in here, like in the canvas. She creates these types of pages and just, okay, this is concept one, this is concept two, this is concept four, for example. And then the clients can just click on this and just go ahead and see different concepts, okay? So these are all the concepts I came up with and I use for this like this is a bit messy because again my client and i came hands in and like worked on a few that he liked the most and yeah this is pretty much it and this is the dashboard i haven't started working on it yet so this is pretty much it let me make myself super big here for you guys and give you the final note so this is pretty much it guys your uh, it's super simple super convenient there are types of pages here if you want me to share uh, like how this actually works in figma and you want the file just let me know i'm gonna create a similar file obviously with, not with this materials something that you guys could use but it's not one of my clients projects so you could actually use these pages as you want so let me know if this was helpful for you okay i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you thought about it was it useful do you want more videos like this i keep searching for video ideas that you guys like it would really help me out if you could just send your ideas to me and let me know what you want okay don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video leave a comment share this video with your friends if they need to structure their figma file better and present it to their clients i'm gonna see you in the next one have a good day and goodbye